Hello everybody, Eminent Storm here, and welcome back to Victoria to the Macedonian Empire. In the last episode, we continued our work on getting our army back up to the original strength that they were at. Well, you could get all the existing armies up to the standard strength that we had set previously, and that is pretty much done. And then... Toward the second half of the episode, a crisis broke out where Aquitaine is trying to break free from the Norse Empire and um, the Aztecs and the British Empire backed Aquitaine and then France, Croatia and Georgia backed the Norse Empire. And a diplomatic resolution was not reached and war broke out in response. And it is now called the Great War war. Now also, it looks like that Scandinavia has joined their ally, who is, who is Scandinavia's ally, um, Croatia, in the war as well. Now, if we look at the flags here, it looks like this side of things is not exactly um, looking good. I mean, they have a lot of enemies against them, so it is very likely that they are going to lose. Now, there's something very interesting about that prospect, regardless of which way this war goes. Now, if we look at this, there's this. The obligatory Great War casts Belli against all enemies, which is force another country to disarm and pay reparations to us. So if these guys win, they will force these guys to disarm. Same thing over here. If they win, they will force these guys to disarm. And, interestingly, over here, there's also a war goal over here to for Croatia to cut Aztec, the Aztec Empire down to size, which basically cuts their uh, army in half and prevents them from building any new units, in addition to completely disarming them. So this presents some very interesting things for me. Because I stayed out of it. I'm not involved in this war. So, I have two things. One, I have 270,000 troops sitting on the Aztec Empire's border. If they lose the war and get disarmed, we are going to have a field day with them. So, yeah, that is very exciting. Also... If it so happens that France, Croatia, and Georgia also lose the war, I have thousands of troops sitting on France's border, too. So, France, if you lose, guess who's coming for dinner? Alright, so... We are going to sit and wait and watch that play out. Now... Um, one thing we're going to start doing is increasing the size of each of our armies, and I have kind of figured out what I want to do with the additional attachments we are putting on each of these armies to bring them up to just around 50,000 troops per army. Um, so that is going to be good. Now, just got to let you guys also know, I am still very, very sick. I am having some significant health issues the last couple of days, so I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be able to record here, but we will get something done. And oh, I just noticed here. Our new dreadnoughts are done. So let's go ahead and split those guys up. Let's send these guys to the Atlantic fleet. And we'll send wait a minute, are those the hold on. Let me just unpause it here for a second. There we go. Now I'm going to select those guys and send them to the Pacific Fleet. Alright, there we are. Kem Chadals has gone bankrupt. And there's nothing I can do about that. Well, I could amphibiously invade them. But I'm not worried about it. Request for military access from Georgia. No, we're going to decline that. I want to cripple these guys as much as I can to give these guys as much of a leg up as I can. I want to drag this war out. Because I want their mobilized troops destroyed. 
I want their standing armies destroyed. I want them to lose everything. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. That would please me greatly. If only Fess were involved in this, that would be absolutely perfect. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Yes, we're not going through prohibition. Uh, direct current was discovered. Our huh. geo output efficiency, factory throughput. Good. All right, so let's take a look at my recruitment. And let's start setting up some rally points to start putting together some armies. Or some attachments for armies. So we'll do one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say an infantry, a artillery, an additional, a cavalry. So we're still going to use cavalry. And then four armor brigades. I'm hoping I'm actually building armor. Let me take a look. Armor. We are not producing any tanks in our country. To produce tanks, we need to build a tank factory. Do we have any tank factories under construction? Uh, let me see. Factories. Uh, these select all. Do we have any tank factories under construction? See, that would be a problem. Uh, where's tanks? There's tanks. Nope, that's airplanes. Do you have aircraft factories under construction? You have one tank factory under construction it will be done in 729 days wow okay well that's going to cause a bit of a problem what i'm actually probably going to want to do is i'm probably going to want to temporarily switch my politics to the national party give me state capitalism and then i'm going to need to go in here and just build a whole bunch of tank factories. Alright, so let's take a look here. Uh, we want to select all. We want to show empty states. I want to go, where are all the unemployed craftsmen? Alright, so let's go ahead and let's build some tanks. Uh, where's tank factories? There we are. Build tanks. Tanks. Build tanks just to make sure that they have and here, build some tanks. There we go. Now those are gonna take some time to build. So we may have to actually hold off on this production. Um, well, actually, let's just set up a few of them. And they'll build out when, when they can. Surprised we don't have, like, artisans building tanks. That would be interesting. Uh, let's do Odessa as a rally point. Uh, let's build some... Oh, that's... Irregulars. We don't want irregulars. We want infantry. We want artillery. We want cavalry. And we want some tanks. Armor. 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 And we'll also do that down here as well. Infantry, artillery, cavalry, tank, 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 tank. All right. Now, bolt action. Rifle armament discovered. Mm. 
Okay, so... Actually, now we can go ahead and switch back to the Conservative Party. Oh, we can't switch ruling parties until uh, January of 1906. So we got a year before we can switch parties again. I'm going to have to probably bump the taxes up just a tad. Compensate for the money I'm spending on those tank factories. We have enough reserve in the bank. We should be okay. All right, how goes the war? Yes, very poorly for these guys. In fact, it is below, it is already past the point where they uh, can lose. Any of yeah, Essex territory been occupied? No, they have uh, enemy forces in England that are causing trouble. Ooh. Netherlands. Netherlands, you can increase opinion. Let me just take a look at my sphere real quick. Ah, Comania. Ban George's embassy. Anybody else we need to ban an embassy on? Doesn't look like it. Now, well, let me know when this war ends. No, we're not going to react. We'll gain... Okay, we got another core. Okay, yeah, we're doing we're doing well here. Now let's merge these guys into our fleet. We need to start thinking about if we're going to... Getting rid of some of those old ships. Mechanized mining. And at the very least... Getting rid of maybe the commerce raiders. I'll have to decide if I want to do that. Drunken riots, uh, whatever. Patriotic society. Leave it be. There's, an, there's a big Aztec army marching through my territory. Taking a lot of attrition as it marches through my... And they're fighting on my soil. I just thought it didn't give France... Oh. Can I, like, retract France's... Remove their military access. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jacobin rebels enforce their demands on Aju. Okay, well, we're going to have to work on that again. Oh, we just finished Electric Furnace. Okay, so Aju. Go to Diplomacy. Yep, they're back to being neutral again. Man, can you guys keep your rebels under control? Alright, let's see here. What do we want? Alright, industry is maxed out for now. Uh, culture. We actually want... This. For the additional research points, plus 100%. So now, they are in my territory, and they should have no organization. So this means that the Aztec armies fighting the French armies in my territory should be able to destroy them. Uh, let's see, Macedonian anarcho-liberals. Only 3,000. Yep, we've got guys hunting them down. No problem. Okay, so we've got some new... Units. Uh, 
let's see. Cree anarcho liberals enforce their demand on Cree. Hmm. The Visigothic Congress. Uh, let's see. Request for military access declined. Uh, let's see. Let's see. They have added humiliate Croatia. No, that was always there. They have added acquire Southwest England and acquire the British, Iceland, and Greenland from France and Scandinavia. Not good for Britain. Very much not good for Britain. Uh, I'm guessing we still aren't building any tanks, right? Nope. Still no tanks. Brilliant. Zero percent done. Oh, this one is proceeding. Control the clergy to legislative means. Do we just not have enough machine parts? Hmm. Production. Uh, raw materials, industrial goods. Electric gear. Lumber, machine parts. Yes, we are not producing anywhere near enough machine parts. Why are they producing no machine parts? Uh, let's see. Machine parts. And turn off. They're expanding. Oh, those are what need machine parts, okay. They have no employees. That would be why they would not be building anything. Because they have no coal, of all things. Why are we having so much trouble with coal? Oh well, those factories will get done when they get done. So I guess we'll just keep all the armies at the current status at the moment. Excellent. Or we start adding these guys in. The three armies. Bring everybody up to 39,000 and just put the tanks in when I get them. That actually sounds like a good idea. Alright, so we'll start bringing everybody up to 39,000. The farmers keep it. And let's bring these guys over here. All right, and we're gonna need to set up 
some more recruitment. We're going to go with an art, a infantry, a cavalry, and an artillery. All right, there we go. And the same thing over here. An infantry, an artillery, and a cavalry. Infantry, artillery, cavalry. All right. Keep working on that. All right, um, I'm going to have to cut this here uh, just so that I can get the other recordings I need to get in uh, tonight before I go to bed. And I want to get to bed early, get some sleep, and hopefully uh, feel better tomorrow. All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.